Hello GeoFax friends, let's take a look at the humble PSR 170 and see what it has to offer. It's one of those more colourful Yamaha keyboards that has the portable grand piano instant access button there and it has the multi-game DJ sort of pads here that'll give us some sounds. Okay, some of those sound a bit familiar from models with similar numbers, as is the Yamaha Education Suite, which is some software that's kind of obsolete now, but it used to provide lessons and use the MIDI interface with the computer to let you know how you're going with your learning. Then, of course, we've got the transport buttons here for the rhythm, and because this is a keyboard with the DJ functions, a lot of the rhythms are actually pretty cool and fun. Okay, let's try some sounds. Piano first. tinny but this isn't a high-end synthesizer one thing I always love to see is plus and minus buttons here it makes it so much easier to navigate quickly through the sounds different kinds of pianos nice electric pianos Big harpsichord. Clavy. Ah, oh, the organ sounds. That is quite nice. Oh, that was a good one too. Gentler organ. There are sometimes vibrato on, vibrato off organ settings. So they're actually the same sound, but when you select the next voice along, you might find that it has added reverb or added distortion or added vibrato. Then it moves on to guitar sounds. Wood bass. Various bass guitars. Strings. A few reasonable synthesizer sounds. Generally quite simplistic. It would be nice to have a pitch bend wheel to control the movement of that sound a little bit, but pitch bend can be applied through the MIDI in socket. And you can also use the PSR 170 as a controller for other devices using the MIDI out socket. Interesting take on the piano sound here. So monophonic. Great for soloing. <laughs> I don't know what I was playing, but you get the idea. Bass down here. And piano up there and sounds with nice effects. Listen to the beautiful decay on that. The 
there's even a drum kit with a bit of echo. And blended sounds. bit of piano with strings. This one's called Hot Organ. I have a feeling I'm going to enjoy this. Ah, oh, if only I'd got the last bit right. Still, that's a nice tough organ sound. DJ voice. Okay, so this is where the classic Yamaha set of DJ sounds comes into play. I'll just play you through some of these sound effects. One, uh, uh, one more time. <laughs> yeah. So depending what kind of music you're playing, a lot of those would be quite useful. Lesson off. DJ. Lesson good. Now some of those sounds on the black keys are more about the lessons in the Yamaha Education Suite. So the guy tells you to start, stop, which finger to use for which particular key, and so on. If you can track down that software and you want to use it, then good luck. It is good to know that there is a learning option with the PSR 170. Now that we've had a listen to some of the sounds, I want to show you some of the rhythms, particularly the ones from the DJ game, 81 through to 100, because they are much more interesting than the standard ones like jazz waltz and twist and things like that that nobody ever wants to hear. The DJ rhythms are all much funkier. They're all electronic dance music and they're all worth listening to. So let's go to song mode, which is this column right here. And we'll choose 81 just using the keypad off your screen there. And it starts with Eurotech. Acid House. Go. Ambient. Go. And Hard Step, I really like this one. And when you're playing the DJ game, DJ! you can then team up these multi-pads with the rhythm. Uh. There are lots of different sets of four multi-pads, and they play all kinds of different sound effects from the DJ set. So in a very simple demonstration, let me just play that rhythm and use the multi-pads as well. Now I know that's just improvising, but I think that gives you an idea of the kind of vibe this keyboard's putting out. It really wants you to have fun with these sounds. Zooming in a little closer to the display, you can see that we've got multi-pad at the top here, and you can use the cursor. It goes down through all of these functions. But if we select multi-pad, we can change the set of pads by holding down the voice button and using plus and minus, and a whole lot of different options come up. I'll just zoom out a little bit and pan across. See what I did there? We had some piano notes come up as our pads now. And moving on. As for the basic rhythms, it's not all doom and gloom. We can go to style down here and choose from any of the 100 rhythms available. There are some pretty good and exciting ones there like 16 beat for example, change to 009 to get that one. 16 beat shuffle, actually that's not the one I wanted. Let's plus through until we find something good. Techno, here we go. Let's put an intro on it and start. We have an accompaniment option too. Okay, I 
didn't choose a very good chord progression there. But again, the PSR170 is punching a little bit above its weight in the kinds of sounds that it has to offer. There is some good usable stuff here. Apart from the fact that it's just a fun keyboard to play, a fun keyboard to learn on, and a fun keyboard to own. And to finish off, I want to give you a complete picture demo here. So I've switched off the direct recording and we're going to hear what it's like through the speakers. We'll turn the volume up a little bit past halfway and we're set to echo piano. Let's have a look at the back. Well, it's pretty simple. On the left, as you're facing or playing the keyboard, you've got power in, 12 volts, and of course a stereo headphone socket, which can also be used as a line out. And over here, MIDI in and out, and also a socket for a sustain pedal. You can also run it on six D-sized batteries. That concludes my PSR 170 review, guys. I really like the keyboard. It's simple, but it's got a lot of great sounds, and those organs are really quite impressive for what you're likely to pay for this fairly old keyboard. It's on the second-hand market, generally going for around about $60 or $70, and if you see one, I recommend you grab it. 